Hey, it's Eric with Premier Pack. I am out at the park with Scarlet. And we're just hanging out in the shade here on this beautiful day. And you can see there's people around, kids playing on the play set and things like that. Now they're interested in petting this pretty dog, as of course they would be. But I gotta ask myself, right? Is it beneficial to let them play with my dog? And the answer is no. What happens when I let the kids come up and touch my dog and play with my dog at the park like this? Well, then the kids start to become associated with being pet and playing. And are therefore more interesting than I am sometimes. And when I just want to relax and have my dog super comfortable hanging out, I got to make sure that I'm advocating for her space. I'm not letting people come up and bother her or touch her. She is very much uh, in tune with me and not just can't wait to leave my side and go play with somebody else. That's not what we're looking for here. So uh, in the end, sometimes it's better to just say no when people want to pet your dog because the relationship with them doesn't matter. The relationship with you does. So that's a little tip. You know, you take your dog out, keep that in mind, expose your dog to other people but keep the relationship between you and your dog, and it'll be much easier to control. Eric with the Premier Pack. Talk to you later.